Hello again from the Philippines. So it's Saturday. How did my meeting go? You know, the meeting at my attorney's office um, to find out how the process of me getting the recognition of foreign divorce certificate went. At the last moment, it was cancelled. The meeting was cancelled. Oh, the attorney didn't let us know. My wife had to phone up the attorney's secretary, who then informed us. So, some of you, I'll address some of the questions in the comments section. As to the attorney, she's one of uh, she's a best friend of one of my wife's relatives. That's why we used her. She's a local attorney. There are quite a few attorneys where we live in the, in the town centre, but we chose her because of that. I'm not really impressed with her. The communication level that she seems to possess is zilch zero. There is no communication, basically, from the start to where we are now. So I'm still in the dark as to why she wants a meeting with me in her office. It's now been rescheduled for Monday morning. So my wife is going to contact her relative and her relative will then contact the lawyer, the attorney, to find out what the hell is going on. I mean, it might be a small issue. And then again, it might not be. What the hell is the secrecy? So that's the reason we chose her as the attorney. There was no other reason. She's been in practice, she's been practicing as an attorney for many, many years. So she's not new to the job, so to speak. And it's just so frustrating, you know, something so simple becomes not simple. If she would just communicate, I need you here because there's an issue, there's a problem. I wouldn't be happy, but at least I'd have some clue. But it's not knowing. It's not knowing how her conference call to the court on Friday went. But hopefully my wife can find out what's going on. If not, I'll wait till Monday. So that's that. To address some of the comments, why do you want to get married again in view of what's happened in the past? Maybe I'm just a fool. Everyone's different. Listen, some of us are going to live to a ripe old age. We're going to live until we're 98, 99, 100 even. And some of us aren't. That's just life. And that's the same in terms of why would you want to get married again? But really, I want to get married again. I can't help the way I feel. But also, that when I die, because I don't pass on to anywhere, I pass the football on, I expire, I die, I want to make sure that she has full access to my pensions. I think she's only entitled to half of whatever the pensions are now. But if I'm not married, I think there will be issues, problems, and I don't want that to happen. You know, we have a child. It's no good her having this house and the land and, and then I suddenly die and there's financial implications, negative financial in, in implications. So I want that to happen. And plus, you know, I, I'm in my early 60s now, for frick's sake. If I was maybe 25 and been burnt once, maybe I'd be different. I couldn't care, care less now. I want to do what I want to do, you know? If I were to drink five cans of Pepsi Cola a day or Coca-Cola a day, hell, I'll do it. If I want to vape, but I do eat all my vegetables because I do love vegetables. 
I eat crap, but I love vegetables. So that's really the latest on this frustrating, bloody thing. There are people that have told me there are other ways of doing this. I don't believe there's other ways of doing it. If you marry a Filipina in the Philippines and you subsequently get divorced to her in your home country, it matters not whether she divorced you or you divorced her. It matters not if she's become a citizen of your country when the divorce took place or she's still a Filipina. It matters not. All that matters is you married her on Philippine soil. Now, if you never want to come back to the Philippines and you just want to marry whoever anywhere else in the world, who cares? That on record here, you're not divorced. Doesn't mean a, a job. Who gives a damn? But if you want to come back here and remarry another Filipina that you've met online or his boots on the ground, it does matter that you married originally in the Philippines, even though you're a foreigner. They will not recognise that divorce from your home country. That is a fact. Now, because you are a foreigner, you do not have to go through the process of annulment. Don't let any attorney tell you that. You apply for a recognition of foreign divorce certificate, like I'm doing. If the attorney you found is quoting you prices of 200,000, 150,000, yes, prices vary. They're trying to scam you. But that's the only way to be able to remarry here. Now, other people have said, well, why don't you just go to another country and get married? Yes, that is a possibility because I could go to Thailand or whatever with my fiance and they would accept the divorce papers I got from my previous wife and we could get married. And if I came back to the Philippines, yes, they would have to honour that marriage certificate. However, however, they've still got you on record on their computer system as being married before. And I don't want any problems arising, you know, because of that. That's why I want to do it this way. Some, somebody suggested, I know half-heartedly, become a Muslim and you can marry and get divorced. Yes, if you're a Muslim here, you can get divorced. But I've also read up, you can't suddenly pretend to be a Muslim and seek a divorce. It doesn't work that way. Talk about equality. Every bloody country in the West has all this equality, except if you're indigenous. Here, yeah, there's no equality. How comes Muslims are allowed to get divorced? But any other religion isn't. So that's where I stand or sit currently. If you're married to an English woman, if you're in the UK, American, if you're in America, a European, if you're in Europe and you get divorced, no problem. And you meet a girl in the Philippines, your divorce will be accepted, not an issue. If you even marry a Filipina in your home country and you subsequently get divorced, there will be no issue. Even though she's a Filipina, no issue. The issue is you get married here. There are only two countries in the whole world that don't recognize divorce. The Philippines, unfortunately, and the Vatican City. And seeing as you're never gonna get married in the Vatican City, who cares? One day they will change the law. I know there are people saying, oh, they've been trying, everything will change eventually. Maybe not in our lifetimes, it will, it will change. Nothing stays the same forever. Not even this stupid law on divorce that the Philippines holds. That will not stay forever. That I can assure you. 
The same way we never had the internet forever. We never had mobile phones forever. The same way the 1960s wasn't forever, nor the 1970s. Nothing is forever. Maybe diamonds are forever. So that's it. Oh, and to that arsehole, uh, you know, you know, I love my little rants. Some idiot made a comment. Can't even remember the arsehole's name. About my video yesterday. Um, it was a, sh a short comment. Something like, um, why didn't you wait until you made your latest video? He didn't say latest video. And you're a, and sir, you're a drama queen. Well, sir, let me tell you something. Sir, A, you don't have to watch my channel. And you're so fucking ugly, sir. I really hope no Filipina is unlucky enough to end up with you, sir. And lastly, sir, what kind of creature bore you? Was it some kind of bat? They can't find a good word for you, but I can. Fucking, smelly, dirty, masturbating twat. Sir. The cheek of him. Watching my videos and criticising. The cheek of you. I mean, you hardly of the Hollywood looks variety yourself, are you? Are you, sir? I'm a drama queen. I might be a queen, my friend, but a dramatic queen I ain't. So do hurry along. Buy yourself Kleenex man size. They're the best masturbating tissues, my friend. I'm a drama queen. Hmm. Well, I did go to drama classes when I was 16 years old, evening drama classes. So maybe there is some truth in what you say. But you don't need to watch my videos, mate, do ya, mate. Sling your hook, mate. My God, do I feel sorry. I mean, the, the guy could be a fantasist. He'll never come to the Philippines and marry anyone. He might indeed already be married to a Filipina. I have no clue, but there are some... There are some scamming Filipinas and some wrong uns, but boy, are there some wrong un foreigners that haven't met a Filipina yet. Do I feel sorry for some of these Filipinas for what they're about to meet? Bubblegum flavour. Yep, bubblegum flavour. So what else is there to talk about? My wife's going to pick up the 30 piglets today. Not personally. Her cousin's got her lorry. They're going to be transported. And they're not being brought here. They're being brought to our adjacent farm. That's where her aunt has her farm. And she will manage the piglets. We've had a few pigs before and we've sold them and we've turned a profit. I have nothing to do with it, except pro uh, providing the money, of course. Who cares? You only live once, don't you? Don't you? 
You see, what you've got to understand is we're not all the same. Yes, apart from the fantasists, we all have the same end goal. It's all the same end game to come here and meet a Filipina. We have that in common. But we, we're not the same. We're all different. We have different tastes in women. I'm talking Filipino women. You might like curvier women than I do. You might like older women, whatever. You might like the food here, whatever. We're different. We share a commonality, our goal, but we're different. And that's a good thing, we're all different. You know, some of you would never buy a property here because it's not in your name. It's foolish. It's madness. I love the fact I bought one. It's not in my name. I couldn't give a damn. I know it's not in my name. I'm not stupid. Well, I am a little bit. Nobody put a gun to my head. I'm happy. I lose it. I lose it. Jeez. What's the big damn deal? You ain't gonna live forever. But we're all different, like I said. We don't think the same. Ah. And that's it, I'm struggling to think of anything now. I haven't been silly for a long time, have I? I haven't done a stupid type of video for a long, long time. Hi, folks. Hi, folks. No, I can't do that. It's stupid, isn't it? I haven't done a live for a long time. How are you liking my Bollywood songs? They're cool, aren't they? How do you like my Bollywood songs, sir? You're a drama queen. No, I'm not a drama queen. I, I, I don't know what I am, but I tell you what I have done. I made it, baby. I made it here. Baby. You, your avatar's you in a car. <laughs> Probably live in a car, baby. And I'm not an e-beggar. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes, not between my eyes, not around my eyes, look into my eyes, look into my eyes, you're under. Whenever I say I'm not an e-beggar, you're going to want to give me money. You want to give me all the money you've got in the world. You'll sell your properties where you live and you'll forward me all your money, transferring it from your bank account to mine, and you'll be happy to do so. When I count to three, you'll be back in the room. And you won't remember a thing. One, two, three. Back in the room. Yeah, I'm not an e-beggar. Never would ask for any money, would I? That's all.